Hey guys, how's it going? Been a little while since I made a video. Uh, so I thought I'd give you an update on where I am with the cars. And actually the reason why I didn't make a video is because there wasn't really a huge amount going on with the cars. Both were in the garage. So as you can see, it's getting its tires changed at the moment. And uh, I, it turned out that I had two really bad front tires and a puncher or a screw in the back tire. And I put it down here and there's a, uh, a nice Bentley Azure, um, which uh, from the front looks exactly the same as my car, uh, but it's got nicer wheels, which I was really gutted about. So anyway, you'll have to excuse the shaky video um, because I'm doing it on my phone. Um, I didn't want to keep the alloys and I was a little bit gutted because um, I, I, I was just looking at this guy with a screwdriver at my alloy wheels. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. But as you can see, tires are looking, well, the cars are looking great next to each other. Um, both look exactly the same from the front. Uh, and then from the mirrors backwards, everything changes. The doors are longer on uh, the Azure than it is on my car. And then of course, it's a convertible. Mine's got four doors. Um, but lengthwise, they're pretty much the same. I think they are. Um, they're kind of parked dead on center for both of them. Um, but I actually was looking to change the alloy wheels, um, which is what I'm really gutted about because, um, I mean, they told me that I can reuse the tires on the new car, on the new alloys if I want to, um, which is great to know, but um, I didn't want to put on cheapy tires. I didn't want to end up putting on Michelin's on these ones, um, but I am putting on Michelin's uh, in its place. Um, they told me that uh, there's, they'll be fine to use on on the other alloy wheels, but of course it depends if it's the same dimensions. Um, the other problem with the other alloy wheels is that um, I, you know, I'd have to bring them from the UK, which in itself is a bit of a, a challenge. Um, so anyway, I'm changing the, the tyres, the four tyres to Michelin, uh, not Cup Sport, I think this Sport 3s or something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll put the right name up on the uh, display. But there's a, uh, a screw in this tyre as well, somewhere. Um, we were having a look at it earlier. And to show you just how bad these tyres are, they, they're pretty cracked because they're old tyres. You can see there, that's damaged on the sidewall. But if you look in between there, um, it's awful. It's like fully cracked in between. Um, so although it's got plenty of grip, uh, they really, really need to be changed. So I just, I'm biting the bullet, getting them changed. I don't want to mess around with safety. Uh, and I've, they're hand cooked on these as well, which is no good. Um, need something decent. So I'm having some problems with the car as well. And the, the problems are partly resolved, but not fully. Uh, but I'll explain what that is in a moment. This is a beast of a car. Love this. It's the uh, Bentley Azure. Same as the Arnage Coupe Saloon, but uh, Coupe bodied convertible roof. So I'm back in the car again, and you're not going to believe this. I've broken down again with a different problem. Um, so I took it out yesterday. I took it for a nice long drive, probably about an hour and a half or so and everything was driving fine um on the on the most part i mean it still had the error lights on the dash uh, but i was going to take it back to the workshop today to get those fixed and um as i i pulled pulled up at home went inside a couple of hours later came out and i thought okay let me go out again and um got in reverse drove it out started driving off and i could hear something under like uh, scraping and uh I thought it's either bearings or it's something underneath the car. I pulled over to have a look and put it in park and the car kept driving. And I was like, you know, why is it still moving forward? I mean, I've put it in park and it's still moving forward as if it was in drive. So switched off the car, got out, had a look underneath. And basically where the gearbox is, um, there's a rod uh, which connects the gear lever to the actual uh, probably the actuator, gearbox actuator, or to the gearbox itself. Anyway, that rod, rod was hanging down. So this, it could be very simple, 
Uh, but the thing is, I can't really drive it because I'll end up damaging the rod. So I managed to drive it back home. And now I'm just waiting for a flathead lorry to take me to the workshop. Um, now, it could be very simple in that it just needs to be reattached and, um, you know, uh, securely put back in place. Or it could be something a lot more expensive. And I know that these parts are generally not available. Um, specific parts might be, but... So it's just frustrating because I just want the car to be fixed so that I can use it. Um, and right now I can't, um, which is really frustrating. A couple of other things I want to get done, uh, but uh, I haven't yet because, um, you know, just, just because I want to, want to get mechanically at least it fully reliable, first of all. Um, the, these window tints need to come off. They're, they're awful. They're too dark. Uh, I got the tyres changed the other day um, and they drive really nice. Um, I have to say, so it seems obviously it has more grip, uh, which is what you would expect. Um, but yeah, they do they do drive nice. Um, I haven't really hammered it or tried it too much just simply because of the traction control. I don't really want to push the car, um, you know, because of the, uh, the lack of traction control on the car at the moment. Um, so hopefully we'll get that sorted out. And then the other thing I want to do is get it really properly cleaned and, you know, polished on the outside, get it. Um, I've got um, some Zymol wax with me, so I do want to Zymol the car as well. Um, but a couple of other things which I'll show you on the inside, which I thought were quite interesting. So since I noticed in the car, when I got the car, I couldn't really close this. And I was like, OK, that's a bit strange. I thought the stereo is a little bit out. So I started fiddling around with it the other day and um, it wasn't working. So then I started noticing, this is the first time I actually ended up touching the steering wheel. So I thought, okay, let me see if I can pull it out. And I could. And it so happened that that is how it came out. So head unit separate to the rest of it. So this clips into that section over there. So I'm presuming that that is actually in the right place. It seems to be screwed over here i guess um so i'm presuming that is in the right place this just needs to clip back into place again so anyway i i, I started having a look at that and then i thought okay well why is this like this i mean these buttons are fine these ones have always been recessed in i started figuring around, fiddling around with this and this came straight off now i haven't pushed this back on because actually what i want to do is it all just feels a little bit dusty around here i just want to give it a good clean um but you know, it basically these clips need to just clip back into place. So I thought it's worth mentioning this because if you've got one of these and you need to ever take it off, um, you it seems you don't need to strip the entire dashboard. Um, you can actually just remove that. Yeah. So once the flatbed lorry arrives, we'll be able to get this car onto the lorry and take it to the workshop and hopefully nothing major. I really do want to just take this car home and um, use it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really getting quite frustrating. Um, I bought it back in, well, probably about seven months ago now. And it's and, and the thing is, it's not seven months of not trying to get it on the road. Really have been trying to get it on the road. I want to use this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but yeah, just frustrating. Um, anyway, I'll catch you at the workshop. This is cozy. So the good news is, is that we've finally got it into the workshop and onto the ramp. Um, they've been able to reattach this. Now this is basically what came off. This fell off and it was hanging down. And initially it was hanging down facing forward and somehow it actually went all the way back. Um, even though there's not enough ground clearance, it must have gone like sideways or something like that. And what this is, is up here is the gear lever this is then connected to the actuator by this rod and that then you know you change the gear lever this then literally physically moves um, the actual gear change itself through the actuator and uh, yeah that's why it was stuck in drive and we couldn't really do anything about it so the problem is there's normally supposed to be a lock on here or something like that. That's obviously come off and has got lost. Um, 
and so they're going to bolt it um, which should be okay uh, and then over here as well but it's all the adjustments as well that's the problem uh, so it's connected up here uh, they straightened this out this is all a little bit twisted and bent uh, but they straightened it out this should hopefully solve this problem but I do have a few other problems that also need to be solved as well so what are the other problems I've got so one of them is um, th there's a coolant light which came on uh, and I can't see anything having leaked um, so hopefully it's nothing too major it might just have been an airlock and um, yeah so hopefully it might just be something as straightforward as that that the airlock is now unlocked and now it needs a little bit more coolant actually there's a little bit of hmm, is that from there from before it doesn't seem to have hard to tell actually yeah it is all a little bit wet around here so we'll have a look at that um, also the ABS traction light and the airbag lights are still on um, it's not had an accident so I'm not um, worried with the airbag light but it shouldn't be on uh, so we need to address that um, what else do we need to do um, yeah so I think we need to run it on the diagnostic machine uh, and, and sort of see some other things that will need to be done in the future is um, over bumps and things it's not great um, I think a lot of these bushings need to be changed um, the front uh, the front uh, drop linkages you know all of that I think that all needs to be changed so there you have it guys um, got the new tires got the new shoes on the car and uh, it's certainly driving a lot better with the new tires on there it's amazing how much of a difference it makes I've got to say this because so many people fit cheap tires onto cars and it's the only thing that connects you to the road and I just don't understand why people skimp on them I mean there's a definite difference between the tyres that were fitted on there and um, when now I'm driving around on. Um, so, you know, do fit on decent tyres because it makes all the difference. And safety first, I mean, you know, you and you want to enjoy the car as well. So I'm really glad I did that. But let me know what you think in the comments below about whether I should change the alloy wheels or not. Should I go with the standard Bentley Arnage T alloy wheels or should I stick with the ones that are on there? Um, it is a lot of money and I you know at the same time I'm not uh, I haven't got a bottomless pit of money on this car so let me know what you think is it worth changing it or should I just stick with these ones now there's actually nothing wrong with the alloys I mean they're in relatively good shape but um, it's just whether I want to change the look of the car or not which I do prefer to be fair I do prefer the original alloys um, so let me know in the comment section down below what you think also, let me know if you want to see a video about, um, you know, the design mole and how that's applied onto the car as well. Um, as I mentioned, I used to be a design mole detailer. Or I used to own a detailing company and I've been through all the training of that, so I know how to do it. Um, but let me know if you want me to, to do that and I can show you the whole process on my car. Um, but if you haven't subscribed already, um, then do subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next episode. We've got episodes coming out every week now, so uh, look forward to uh, sharing more with you in next week's episode.